Catholic tradition is when it comes to building a good life for me and for those I hold dear I unashamedly do what I believe to be right even if this is at odds with what I am told I should do by nameless faceless folks up on the hill I find it is often better in such cases to seek forgiveness than to seek permission and it it even and it even more often better to seek neither from those folks Catholic traditionists I agree with you don't look at Wall Street to the side if I got the gist of what you were saying Wall Street and those in authority and power to decide where you should be and how you should live your life figure out what reduces the most amount of stress from your and your loved ones lives look into how you and your loved ones can remain as healthy as possible and as connected as possible within the community that's your first place you should be looking at to invest if you have excess funds then the next thing you need to do is do a fair bit of research to figure out where you're going to spend your money where you're going to park your money that is not going to disrupt what you've created already right so for example if you're investing in your health in your family in your community right and you're happy with that okay and you have a little bit of money on the side you would have to be an idiot to invest in Walmart because Walmart goes against what you just built right think about the consequences of your actions and where you're putting your funds your energy your resources in right there are people that i know that are extremely amazing good people they mean well in the world right and all the excess money that they have they put into wall street if they're close to me i call them for what they are complete hypocrites and idiots right VC, the bank where I keep all my income and savings are encouraging me to invest through them. Should I attempt to invest through them and make money or just keep the money in my account? VC, there, there's a fallacy in your statement here, right? In your second sentence, you're saying, should I attempt to invest through them and make money? How do you know you're going to make money if you invest through them, right? Do they guarantee it? Do they, do they say, we guarantee that you will get five percent returns per year for the rest of your life and you will never lose your money they no bank is going to tell you this right so first thing you have to do is and banks there's whole different types of instruments that banks will try to sell you and if you don't you know if you don't qualify as a accredited investor and stuff like this like there there are funds out there that have criteria one of the criteria is you have to have one million dollars of liquid funds that you can park with them right not one million dollars worth right it's not that you're worth a million dollars you have to have liquid liquid one million dollars before they will allow you to invest with them right now if you're joe blow you don't have a million dollars to invest with these funds then you're gonna have to go with the lower end funds right now you tell me do you think the people managing the fund that has millionaires investing with them is that on the same caliber as the person who has fun who's managing a fund that has people investing with them that are in the thousands of dollars i'm willing to bet the person that performs better is kicked up to manage the funds of people who have larger assets right so you really have to think about what the bank is trying to sell you okay there's a lot of garbage that the banks are going to try to dump on people right now okay the what do you call it the i forget the names of the th different types of people <laughs> that these they refer to them right great point i second that suggestion graham what did graham say your local community your local community invest in your local community 
community gardens rec centers after school clubs help your neighbors yeah and I'll give you an example for example like Graham is saying basically one of the best places you should invest in is your community and I 100% agree like for example right now in the city that I'm living in right now in Victoria Canada British Columbia there's a lot of homeless here okay and a lot of homeless that have come from the other provinces one of the reasons is this most moderate weather here right it doesn't rain as much as Vancouver so there's certain weather elements involved and whatnot right so right now because of COVID things went into lockdown right so people in Canada who you know who who had everything going they had a job and stuff like they filled out a form and they got they're getting two thousand dollars a month coverage from the government right so those people middle class let's call them middle class that were that qualified for this are getting two thousand dollars a month until lockdown is lifted right which is a hell of a lot more in the United States United States people are getting shafted hard by the way okay so Canadians middle class could fill out the form if they weren't allowed to go to their jobs to get two thousand dollars a month that should pay your rent and your expenses and you just chill at home right now some of those people who have bought homes and they have mortgages and stuff like this they're at home they're seeing what's going on and they're seeing the activity during the day and in my area there's a lot of homeless around now the homeless that aren't on the books everything's cash for them one of the main sources of income for the homeless was collecting bottles and returning bottles the other main source of income was panhandling right guess what with the lockdown with the quarantine with the suggested suggestion of not going out panhandling doesn't get them anything because there's nobody around and the bottle depot places where you could return bottles are all closed I've, when I've gone on walks I've seen like mounds of bottles in parks where a homeless person has been collecting the bottles but he can't return them right so no money from the bottles either right so no money from panhandling no money from the bottles no money from the government right they don't get two thousand dollars they don't have a residence right they weren't filing taxes they don't get two thousand dollars right and now what's happening is those people who were who are getting two thousand dollars they're like going hey the homeless are breaking in here right our lives are not as good as we thought they were our property values are going to come down because there's lots of homeless around here so our homes are now the equity we have in the homes is not as much as we had in the past before this pandemic hit right oh what's going on well those people didn't invest in the community they allowed the homeless situation to rise up to a level that something like this that disrupts the ridiculous economic system that we have right now to lift the veil right all of a sudden they're going oh wow wait a second my home isn't really worth a million dollars it's worth eight hundred thousand dollars but I put two hundred thousand dollars in there but that means it's only worth eight hundred thousand so all these years that I worked and the down payment that I made that just blew up it, it, it is it's, it's as if I didn't do that at all and my car is being broken into and I look out my window there's people camped out across the street across the park from and there's a mound of bottles empty bottles wait a second I thought this was supposed to be a middle-class neighborhood guess what they didn't invest in their community okay if we invest in our communities if we make sure the supply chain is solid the we have food security we have people institutions right organizations that deal with mental health with trauma we have well-funded schools that are educating the children right if we have community centers where there is readings where people can go take like for example one of the things with community centers guess what community centers are closed there are homeless people that were using community centers to take showers there are people that used to live in their homes this is in my area very like it's top of the pyramid if you compare it to the world right people living in their homes and going to work living in their campers and going to work right because they can't afford the rent they can't afford property that we're using community centers to take showers right the community centers are closed ah guess what they can't go 
take showers clean up to go to work right all of this is ridiculously important so when people say they have excess money they want to invest it somewhere where do you live is your community on the borderline of completely collapsing do you like it there do you think you want to spend a lot of time there then you should be investing in that community that's the best place you can invest your funds in right stabilize it make sure that if something like this happens all of a sudden you don't have homeless people breaking into your cars and you can't go outside and play right 